What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Silver and Gray here. Greatly appreciative of tuning into this video. And today we are talking about a Plague Tale Innocence. I am nearly closing to the end of this game. And basically what this is, is that I'm just giving you my, my first impressions on this video and about this game in general because I feel like this is one of the best indie developed games I have ever played amongst other indie games I have played for the past few years. Now, what I will say about this game, it is one of the most robust and very somewhat skillful game I have ever played. In term now, what I mean by that, the combat in this game is very intricate. It's interesting. And what I mean by that is that you have a sling. You get to be able to sling rocks like any or something that's poison or fire or whatnot and i think that's a really good combat mechanic combat mechanic in this game and it's just really interesting of how that's how it's used and what it does for puzzle solving as well we will get further into that within, within this video so now i want to talk a little bit about amicia and her brother hugo for for the for, for the foremost excuse me and uh hugo is a little bit of a brat um, he is a good character, though. I really like his character progression. I really like the way what he does in terms of the story of the game itself. And um, I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm not. I really am not because, I mean, I'm just saying that he kind of is because he doesn't listen to his sister sometimes. I don't think it's the majority of not listening to her, but he just doesn't listen to her sometimes for the most part. And so it's one of the reasons why that why he he is what he is because he's just a kid i mean you know it's sometimes it just it's the well nature of things you know and i understand it because you know i'm i can be like that though too even a, an adult or a kid but it doesn't matter but anyways point being you get you understand what i'm trying to say so now what i really truly think about this game in a general focus or just in a in an extent overall is the fact i love its gameplay mechanics its gameplay mechanics are very like i said they are very interesting i love the fact of how you utilize your sling by doing different things with it whether if it's certain types of puzzle solving or just like you know going up against enemies by knocking enemies out without having helmets on with with rocks i think that's really cool I can't recall of any other games that have that type of requirement, so I think that's a good requirement. I think it's a really good element of surprise of what this game does in terms of that gameplay mechanic, and it, it's 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 robust. It's it's pretty well thought of, and it's pretty cool. I like that. Now, what I will say another thing about when you, when you're using the sling in combat mechanic as well is not just like throwing the rocks and you know knocking enemies out, but like I said, you're you're also utilizing it for some puzzle purposes or you know do or lighting some torches or somewhat small bonfires i mean because there's a bomb i believe it's not like a bomb but it's like some sort of uh, element it's it basically it's like it, it's like ignatius or something or ignifier ignifier that's it. It, it it's something like that you get where i'm going with this and you're able to basically put tor uh, light torches on fire, basically, you know, lighting some certain types of paths because you don't want to get eaten by the rats. And we'll get to that part in just a moment here. And, th and that's another part of the gameplay, gameplay mechanic in this game as well. And I think that's what makes this game even more interesting in how it just... And the rats are definitely part of the story as well because Hugo is... It's not just Amicia's younger brother. He has the ability to control rats by the by even by close to the end of the game. It's pretty close to the end of the game. I would say maybe probably oh I don't know. I think maybe the fourth chapter is close enough to the end of the game. And so uh, it's just the way how it tells of what this of what the game story is truly about. And I think that's what makes this game even more unique from what other games I have ever seen like this before. Because this is a game that I have never seen before until I've started playing it recently. You know, I've played it on and off and on and off for several months now. But this past week, and I played I played a lot of 
I played quite extensively of this game. And like I said, I am practically almost done with this game as of right now. I mean, other than the fact I'm still doing this video. So I'm not playing it right now, but I am still currently playing it. Now, what I will say, I think the story is one of the best I've seen, especially when it comes to an indie developer. I really can't say what the indie developer it who they are, but they did a really good job with the story. I love the character progression. I like the way how Hugo is to a certain extent. Like I said, he is a little bit of a brat. I'm going back to that. But like I said, we all understand why he is that way. And like I said, you know, it has to do with... That he has the ability to control rats and how it's just implemented to a certain type of combat degree of how you're able to you have that type of utilization. And I think that's really cool how he does that. And it's so interesting. I had such a hard time being able to figure out how to do it. But once I finally figured out what you had to do in terms of, you know, like by controlling the rats with Hugo, I finally I'm like, okay. Now I get it. I understand what's going on here. Da 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 da. And there you go. I absolutely love Amicia. I think Amicia is a very interesting character. She she her intentions are so good. She loves her brother. She's literally trying to take care of him, and she wants him to survive this entire world of this game. And it and it shows, you know. And and that's why I say, you know. I have played a lot of games in my life for the for over a decade now, and I have never seen such good or amazing character progression in a game like this before. I mean, there have been games like Legacy of Cain series. The Legacy of Cain series is one of my favorite franchises of all time. But point being, that that series has one of the best character progression systems as well. You don't you know by interacting. And just the way how the voiceovers, the voiceover is in those games, and no, the voiceover in those games is one of the best I've heard or even witnessed ever. But I think when it comes to a Plague Tale Innocence, this game does an amazing job with that type of element of surprise. And I was literally stunned by it. I was shocked, and I couldn't believe. I'm just like, dude, this is a really, good, this game is has really good writing, and I like that. And that's one of the things I would really like to discuss here real quick as well is the fact that, you know, games nowadays that we've been getting other than, you know, like, you know, games that have good stories to them. You know, it has to do with a good story, has to do with good character progression. But, you know, we, I rarely ever see that anymore. And, and I think A Plague Tale Innocence does that uh, tremendously. Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West. I love the character progression in those games. The story in those games are fantastic. I've seen... I... I can't recall of any other games I've played for the past year or two that have such good story progression mechanics, in there, and I love that. Yes, Fine. It's just astounding and outstanding and fascinating, and I love having good story writing single-player games. That's why I'm a single-player gamer is because I don't play... I try not to play so much cooperative, but I am currently playing a cooperative game as of, as of right now, though, too. Not now, but... With a friend of mine, is uh, the name is called Outward, and it's it's actually quite addicting. I really like that game so far. It's pretty cool. But re like I said, I'm, re I'm veering a little bit off topic here, but I just want to put that in there so that we understand where I'm going with this. Now, I want to talk about the landscapes or, you know, like the infrastructure of the game itself in terms of, you know, like going through different types of areas of the game, either if it's outside or in or inside of buildings or like churches or whatnot, that sort of thing. And I have never seen the lighting in this game when it comes to these infrastructures or outstructures per se for the landscapes. It's very well put together. It's one of the it's actually one of the best I've seen, especially if with an indie game like this. But overall, it's fascinating. And I literally just got done doing a video like this before, and I finally found out that my micro microphone was muted. And I'm just like, God dang it. So, hence the reason why I had to do this all over again, which is fine. So now, what I would like to say is, well, um, I just love the way how this game is overall. I Like I said, you know, the combat mechanic is nice. It's... I wouldn't say it's amazing, 
but it's very impressive and it knows what it wants to do in terms of the combat mechanic especially with the sling i like that and so another thing i will talk about the sling as well is the fact that it's not just about utilization of certain types of combat mechanics with it, but like I said, it has to do with that you can use it with certain types of areas that have like, like, like for example, it's like if you have like a, a chandelier hanging above you and there's a certain part of that chandelier that's shining, you can actually use your sling with a rock and just like throw it to that certain part of the chandelier and it'll come down and obliterate the enemies. And that is cool. I, I love that. And like I said, I have never seen any kind of game that has that type of mechanic. It 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 doesn't it it it's it's good execution. I think the execution on that is very interesting and intricate and somewhat Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Now another thing I would say, I think what this game also does I love its lighting. The lighting is very, it's somewhat vibrant. It's a little bit rustic. It's a little bit gothic in a way. Not really like goth goth, but you know, it's a little gothic because it's like, I think it has to do with uh, what this game does and how it tells, you know, in certain types of areas of the game, whether if it's outside or inside, especially inside. I think the, the lighting is, it, I don't think it's, it's one of the best I've seen, like I said, in when, when it comes to indie games like this. But overall, I mean, I have seen other games in the past few years to, to where it has some amazing lighting. And how it just reverberates off certain types of structures. And how it just... And how robust in a way that it... How it shows. If you see here, it's like when you see the candles on those stands like that... It, it's only lighting a specific type of area but not only that it show but it's also giving you a good variety of how that lighting is going to bounce off certain types of objects and how it's going to just illuminate that specific area that is it's really well done i like i said i can't praise enough when it comes to lighting i i'm very visual I mean, I'm vi I'm actually very visual, vi visual, visual and audio, and I I'm a vi I'm an audio file and a video file actually because when it comes to that, I morally look for not just because of a good storytelling game as this game is, but I love the way how the audio is. I like the way how the visual visuals are. And it's not just about the, and, and a story, uh, obviously. For me, I always felt like when it comes to single player stories, story comes first, visual comes second, and audio comes third. That's my that's my philosophy when it comes to single player games, because I feel like that's what it should be, uh, in my personal opinion. But people are always going to have different preferences or opinions of what they want to see in a video game. So that's the way how I feel about this game in general when it comes to those specific types of three rules that I actually have when it comes to single player games. Now, another thing I would like to say in close to the end of this video is it's a great story. Like I said, it's one of the best I've seen when it comes to the indie, indie game. Uh, I love its, I love some of its combat. I love the combat mechanics with the sling. Uh... Oh, one more thing. Uh, when you're using the sling as well, you're also... You, it's not just about, like, throwing rocks, really. You're also able to throw... Uh, now, when you have enemies, for example, that have helmets on them, right? You're able to throw t a certain type of, uh, like, gas or acidic type of thing that will deteriorate the enemy's helmets. <clears throat> and then when that happens, you have a good, um, you don't have always have a good small of opportunity to knock them out with a rock. But if you can basically have a really good aim on their head with, while you have the sling marked as yellow on their head, you can just knock them out so quickly, then you'll be okay. But other than that, you're kind of fucked. So my apologies for that little small profanity there. But overall, I like I said. I love this game. I I think it's 
it's one of the it's one of those games that it's not just unique it's the you know it's just the core me it's just the mechanics of some of its gameplay structure and the audio how it just intertwines perfectly within each of part of the of the chapter that you play in the game I'm on the right track. like i said the the character progression is one of the best i've seen amongst other games i have talked about in my previous videos so i'm just trying to Next time he talks to me like that, I'm just basically well, trying to have a good context contextualization of what I'm really trying to talk about when it comes to these types of games. I have learned to be able to. I have learned to uh, be a lot better by making these videos because in the past few years, a few years ago, I I've done this before and I finally and I I've rewatched my videos before I even put them up and I'm just like I got to do this again. I can I just got to keep on going and going and going and and improve myself. And now I've finally been able to do something like this now and I believe that I am improved quite a I'm not 100% better a lot better than I used to be, but I'm I would have to say I'm like 85% better than I used to. Because it has to do with uh, what games I play and what games I really enjoy when it comes to the single comp uh, single player games like this as well so you know i'm just trying to throw this out there as much as i can to make sense of everything so that's pretty much all i have to say about that but overall like i said you know this game is fantastic i do highly recommend this game this is basically like an impressions i uh, maybe like a it's basically my first impressions video on this game and hopefully will make some make sense of everything in my next video about this game because like i said i am almost done with this game i am practically near the end and once i finish it once i finish it i will however probably make either make another video of this or just keep the do the same video that i'm doing here and just tell you my true thoughts about this whole entire game in general but anyways this is silver and gray here Thank you for tuning in. Greatly appreciate it. But if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them in the comment section below. Go from there. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace.